Creation, what up?
Hey, Hold on, let me put my headset on. Hold on, don't say nothing. Hold on. Naughton, what up? How you doing, man? No, I just got in. Just got in. I just woke up. Yeah, how you like it? I finally got it. Yeah, you can get it. All we gotta do is find somebody with fireworks. You don't have a you don't have a kayak, right? Well, just just make sure you have about twenty thousand dollars to rent them just in case. Okay. That's real nice, man. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. He just he dragged me down to the to the to the dam, and then after and then after he dragged me to the dam, he uh. Um, okay. They're like bait coins, but you didn't. You shouldn't get fireworks you, because your fireworks, your fireworks are only going to help other people. They're not, you know, they they will help you if you can get somebody that hasn't caught the the Christmas fish. Then they get fireworks, and if they want to, if they want to be nice enough to set their fireworks off, then they might set their fireworks off for you. But I I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't Yeah, I'm in a game with like three other people, so you could probably join in. But none of them have fireworks. None of them got fireworks. So maybe we can hang in here for a minute and, you know, we'll get a guy that has fireworks. I got Kate. Um, what should you bring? You can... Well, definitely a spinning rod. The lemon tiger spoon, the lemon tiger spoon, and um, and uh, let me see. Well, I would say, I would say, uh, I would, I would say, the big rod that you have. Put, put. Do you have? Are you able to carry two rods? Okay, that's perfect. So get one big rod, not so big, not like the 40 pound rod, but get like a 30, 30 pound rod or 35 pound rod and, you know, get a little, tw and a little 25 pound reel or something like that and put 12. Now what you could do with that Loki, what you could do with that Loki is you could put 12 pound test in that Loki. And, but the real, but the retrieval speed on that Loki, you got to make sure that the retrieval speed is fast enough. You know, whatever reel you got on there. But I would put on. Well, it really, the, if you have a longer rod, it might get that rod tip around the front of the kayak when you're fighting the fish. And, and and just make a rod, a medium rod, any one of your medium bait rods and put 12 pound tests on it. That's what I would do, you know, and then and then have your have your other lure rod, you know, set up for like 20 pound, you know, um, or you could set your set it up for, for. Hold on. Set it up for 
if you got a, a 16, like a, if you're going to put 15 pound test on it, make sure your reel is 16 pound rated and then put 16 pound mono on there. So you can have 16 pound test instead of 15. Toxic Bomber, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, I like it a lot. And I'm probably going to go play it in a little bit, but I love my fishing too. And right now, I'm, you know, I'm trying to catch me some of them. There you go. 12 pound. Yeah, you don't even need that much, but, you know, you, you only got to put three 300 on there, but you put whatever you want on there. Oh yeah, I've left it, forgot it, and then I had to go back to Texas and get the money, and to go back. Always by the advance. Always on any lake. I don't care what lake you're on. Always by the advance. I'll leave. Yeah, go to a random room and see if you see any of them guys that have fireworks. If they do, I could join you. <laughs> Make sure you're in that kayak. Make sure you got your lure already sunk before they throw them fireworks. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I fought three lake trout yesterday for 40 minutes or something, and they were all lake trout. No. Not yet. I still got this fish on them. I'm doing some. I'm doing barrel rolls in the fucking kayak. You get you get you get objectives for that, like so many flips in the kayak. All the way to the first notch, bro. And then you should be able to retrieve on them. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, the first couple of times you do it, you might not you know, it might not work for you, but you know, I spent three days trying to get this kayak, so it ain't easy. But then Vanilla spent one day and got it.
the, you definitely you should you got short bit that's what happened you got to make sure you have the lure in the water and sunk I'm going to try to come in your room right now. Says I joined your room, but I don't see you in there. Do you see me? Oh, your room is full. Okay. Well, just look, bro. Just I'll get to the lake when I can with you, and um. Yeah, that'll work. You know, to be all honest with you, you know, I mean, I got what I need. So if you're if you're with somebody that's shooting off fireworks, make sure you're in the kayak, make sure your lure's sunk. And right right when you see on the on your screen where fireworks launch, you wind that bad boy. Right. No, you're supposed to. That's an objective. Yeah, that's an objective, brother. To do, look at your objectives. Look at your objectives. It says something about flipping upside down in the kayak so many times. <clears throat> Well, well, just sit sit next to the dock, right in that, right in your kayak, like where you get in your kayak at. Sit right there and throw that throw that lure to the left side of that rock. <coughs> Make sure you're on the bottom and t retrieval speed too. All the way as far as you can cast against that rock where it sticks out. Yep. <coughs> no, no. <coughs> I can't see him. <coughs> Giving you an objective. Just for Christmas only, and then taking it away. You know what I mean? I, this is not. This is not a. No, this is not an easy objective. It's okay. You'll get them. What size lemon tiger you got on? <laughs> you don't have the six by seven six on? <laughs> I 
<coughs> Another thing here, let me help you out. Listen, bro. Listen. You ready to learn? Do me a favor, nothing. Put the motherfucking 601 there. Advance to your peak time. <laughs> Advance two hours. Two hours in like like an hour before your peak time or right at your peak time, bro. <laughs> Put that six out on there. One hundred percent, especially if you're shooting fireworks. Absolutely. One 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 hundred percent. Watch how quick you get bit. Yeah, I did that. I agree. I... <laughs> no, I mean, I'm... When you told me to leave... I mean, I just got hooked up again. <coughs> hey, good morning, Wax. Good morning, Wax Lock. Good morning, bro. How's your fishing experience? It's going, Wax. You know we need you over here, Wax. <coughs> No, if I did, I'd hook you up, bro. You buy them with bait coins in the store. No, you got to buy them outside the, off the lake, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what you do, what you do is you just be nice to him and say, well, if he's, well, if they launch off the big ones, you get longer than that. You might get 15 seconds, but if they launch off like two big ones, you can, you, you got enough time to do a whole 140 foot retrieval. Yeah, I also got this kayak too, Wax. I was working on this kayak. You know, happy uh, holidays, Wax. We we got a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? We got Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Then we got New Year's. And then the UFC is going to come out three and a half weeks after that, baby. UFC 3, baby. Well, what you don't want to do is sit there and waste your peak time now that they're not shooting out fireworks, you know. Um, did anybody leave your room? I'll go in there and talk to him.
Yeah, I got a big one on wax. It's probably 30 pounds. But I'm using wax. I'm using a 16-pound test. I'm not using 20 or 30-pound test to catch these fish. So it's not as easy getting them in. He don't want to come past 13. Look at him. He does not want to come past 13. Watch what I do to him. I'm going to put my rod on the other side. Oh, get the fuck out of here, low tension. Oh, wow, that sucks. <coughs> oh, that sucks. <coughs> I'm fucking glitchy stuck right now. <coughs> wow, that sucked. Yeah, that one wasn't bad. That one wasn't bad, Wax. Usually, I've been getting my fingers worked when I'm on this damn dock and I'm using that 15-pound test. But I switched my setup to a little bit stockier 15 pound setup, but I got 16 pound tests on it. So, if you, you see my kayak, wax, I got a beautiful kayak. I'm going to show you the kayak on, on the screen, guys. Hey, wax locks, do you have any fireworks? Let me show you this. Uh, look at this beautiful kayak I got right there, Wax. That kayak, that kayak that that you see right there is a special kayak that you get for doing an objective in the game. Very, very hard objective. Um, very hard objective. But we got it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta ask somebody to shoot off fireworks. You got to be in the kayak. You got to have. You got to be hooked up with the right fish. There's only two fish that you can be hooked up with. You got to be hooked up with the right fish. No, no, no. There's two. There's two. The fuzzy trout. If you get pulled by the fuzzy, if you get pulled by the fuzzy trout, 1,600 feet, or the antlered salmon, then you get this right here. But you have to be in a kayak when you get hooked up. White Moose Lake is the best toxic. No, I don't think so. I think Wax is in a, a lower level. You know, he's down there. You know, he's not even... Excuse me. And you're blowing your nose, man. But anyway, so that's how you get that kayak. And that's how you get that kayak, guys. You know, it's it's a very, very tough objective because he's got a the fish has got a cycle. The fish is gonna take you all the way down to the dam, and then you've gotta turn the fish around without not having him spit the hook. You notice that I just had a fish on just now. I had him 10 feet from the freaking dock, and he spit the hook because of low tension. I lost two fish due to low tension. I've probably been hooked up with about seven or eight fish and spent about 30 or 40 minutes each time trying to get this objective. So it's not easy. Well, let him drag you around now, bro. It's going to be a slow, tedious process, but just keep whining. Keep one. But whatever you do, that's good. Keep that retrieval speed on number one and uh and, and hook it up.
no, I mean the retrieval speed on four, but the the drag on one. I'm sorry, or the or two or two, depending on your reel. You don't want to gain any line on him as you wind. You actually want him to take line if he can. You know what I mean? You want it to be that loose. But then if he stops running, you want to be able to have your drag tight enough to where you can still gain line on him. It, it, so so you pull up the slack. That's what I'm saying. Well, just you going do this is gonna be a long process for you. Hopefully you hooked up with the right hopefully you hooked up with the right kind. Like I said, I hooked well, I did, I did, I told you I hooked up with three lake trout, three of them, and fought them bitches for 40 minutes, and they weren't the right kind. Well, if you got hooked up, yeah, if you got hooked up during the fireworks, it's going to be a slow process if it's not big enough, but just remember this, if you got the right one on, that's the hardest objective is just to keep them on. Well, what you got to do is you got to turn your turn your rod around. Well, okay, look, what I notice, what I notice is that whatever direction you want to go, you want the front tip of your rod to be facing in that direction. That that's what I notice. It's hard and it takes time to get the fish to 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 maneuver, but if you get stuck against the ice, you want to turn your rod again uh, all the way around in the opposite direction and try to. Try to get him to, to run in the opposite direction. Even though the line's going under the boat, he's going to pull you away from the ice. It's weird. So it's going to look like the line is going in the opposite directions, but, he, but he's going to pull you the way that you want to go. You just take, take your time, man, and just how many feet does he have out? How many feet does he have out? Well, hopefully you have a unique on. If you got a unique on, that's probably going to give you the one, the objective that you need. The smaller furry trout is going to be hard for you to pull you all the way around the lake. If you get a unique furry trout, he'll pull you. If you get an antler, he'll pull you too. He's, is he straight up and down? Well, you got to turn that. You got to turn your pull. You got to try to get your pull. Right, right. So you're in the opposite direction of the ice, right? Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, that's all I was doing is just tapping it. You'll get off the ice if you play with them. Oh, my God. You'll get off the ice if you if you if you work them right. Oh yeah. Yeah, just just hang in there and he'll move. Whatever you do to get off that, whatever you do to get off the ice, man. And then he's probably going to take you. If it's the right kind, then you just got to work that bad boy. Right, right. Well, it's a process, you know. What I did do one time, one of my hookups was I put my tape, put some tape in my R1 button and just walked around the house and handled my business. 
But what happened was he, the fish went up against the ice, and uh, then I accidentally winded him up. So. Yep, one go, bro. You, 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 dude, you're, you're 20 minutes, 15 minutes in. Hang in there. You know, you still got a long way to go. He's going to drag you all the way down. 100% he's going to drag you all the way down to the, to the, um, to the, to the dam. Well, try not to whine on him. That's a good thing. If you can let him take more line, that'd be nice. You know what I mean? Try to let him. Yeah, try to let him. Try to let him take more line and just kind of flutter that R2 button. When, now he's going to take you. He's going to take you to that dam, bro. And you're going to get pinned up against that dam. You got to work that fishing pole to try not to let him block you into the corner back there. So you got to move your fishing pole, you know, in the opposite direction. Remember. Put the fishing pole in the way, in the direction that you want the fish to go. Oh, okay, okay. I oh, you're at the dam down there. Oh, you're heading towards that. Okay. Well, if I... Right, well... All right, well... Whatever you do, try not to let them get you down there by that dam. Because that's where, that's where the stickiness is going to be. Uh, that's where you can spit the hook. That's where you get start gaining line on them. And then you accidentally have to pull them in because you got 16 feet on them. And then you crank them two feet. And he swims towards you and you got him. So you got to be real careful. You're halfway there, bro. Halfway there, man. Another 20 minutes and you'll be there, bro. Try, try turning your rod. I'm doing, I'm doing rollovers right now. This is an objective. It's kind of cool. I, 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 as long as I get a big fish on, he's going to roll me over. That's awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to check and see how many rollovers it is. There's another rollover. There's an objective for rolling over in the kayak, guys, and you just kind of, you know, get your kayak bobbling, boom, and you roll over like that. That's like three or four rollovers just in this fish alone, maybe more. I wonder if I can do two rollovers at once. That would be awesome. Just keep rolling over and shit. Well, where is he at right now? Right. Yeah, make t turn your pole towards the opposite side of the lake and see if he can drag you on the opposite side of the lake. Get off the corner right there. Don't don't let him. Don't, yeah, don't let him. Yeah, don't let him pin you in. Whatever you do, don't let him pin you in. See, these are the two things that I need right now. I need the head over heels. Actually, I need the flipper sleigh. 
I need to I need to flip my uh or let the fish drag me. So that's gonna come easy. Head over heels, turn your kayak over fifty times. That's easy now. And then and then uh catch a hundred fish from the kayak. That's gonna be easy. There you go. There you go. Work him, dog. Work him. <clears throat> right, right. I wish I was with the on the lake with you and I could just swim right next or be right next to you while you got him. Is he taking it down towards the dam? Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, brother. You know, I mean, uh, a lot of guys say the same thing, but the cool thing about it is we get to fish together. You know, it's, we got we got more than just me now. You know, I mean, we got we got bones, we got turbo, we got you, we got uh, we got my man Dom that was fishing last night. You know, and we got we got wax locks that's trying to. Well, just work him. You got a long way to go, bro. If he's not moving, just, you know, just work him, work him, work him, work him, work him. Retrieval, right. Well, the good thing, the good, the good thing about it is you're probably halfway done with the objective. You're probably halfway done. Huh? There you go. No matter what, look at it. No matter what, look at it like this, bro. Not nah, look at it like this. No matter what, you're almost done. You 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 worked so hard. You worked so hard to get hooked up, and now you're hooked up. Now you've already got some miles on them. Now you just gotta keep. You gotta keep the pressure on them. You know what I'm saying? Keep the pressure on them. You'd be alright. You know, you just spend, dedicate that another 30 minutes, another 20 minutes, and you'll never have to worry about a kayak again. That's how you got to look at it. Listen, bro, catching these trout over here during the peak time, you do not have to worry about that, bro. Trust me when I tell you. You ain't, you don't. Well, first of all, the, the the trout bite. All right, as soon as as soon as I got this fish up, I'm so I got him at sixty. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got him at forty. If I break the if I break the line, I lose my lure. Yeah, you're right. Plus, I'm doing the flippy. It's okay. I'm doing the flippy kayak. Go ahead. I'll be in there in a minute. Just hang in there and get that objective. I'll be in there. You know. Is it like in Spanish? Yeah, I think I think they got like for the Latin people. Yeah. 
I got him. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Let me see if I'm gonna try to see if I can join you. That's a beautiful thing. I'm joining right now. Joining right when you said that I was joining. Bam, all right. I'm, I'm jumping in the kayak. I'm coming to save you. Coming to save you. I'm coming to save you. Hold on. I'll be there. Jumping in right now. Yeah, I see you. Bobbing and weaving over here. I see you, Big Pippin. You are in a beautiful spot, bro. You're in the middle of the lake. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're in the middle of the lake. Um, and you're not next to anything that's going to block you in. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. Let them bring you over there. Once I got too close to you, you disappeared, so I can't see you right now. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mine was at 50 the whole time, so. And the nose of your rod looks like he's kind of. You'll be all right. This is your dedication and your devotion right now. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you how close this ice is. I'm going to tell you how far you can go. Don't let them drag it way close to the ice. You're doing a great job. You're in the middle of the lake. You're doing fantastic. I mean, you got a long, he's got a long way to drag you over here before, before you get stuck on anything. I mean, you're, you're in a good spot, bro. <clears throat> and he's already dragged you. He's already, he's already dragged you around a little bit. So if he drags you around to the dam, you might have enough, but I'm not, but uh, don't quote me on that because I wouldn't give up. I would, I would fight him for another, I'd fight him for another 30 minutes. Yeah, but that's not, that ain't going to tell you how long, how many feet you've got. What's up, Quadarius? Yeah, but, but during that 30 minutes, you could have them take you 100, 100 feet or 1,000 feet. You know, you could be going sideways during that whole 30 minutes, or he could be a bigger fish running the nose of your kayak up and down the lake in 30 minutes. So you can... The time doesn't make a difference, you know, it just depends. It doesn't... Oh, how long you've been fighting them. You've been fighting them at least for 30 minutes. You are the, you are the fucking man, bro. Now you got them going in the right direction. I bet you if you take them all the way to the ice, if you take them all the way to the ice, all the way down there, you'll get it. Bet. But you're moving right now. You're moving. You're moving right now. Don't worry about it. Positive thinking. That's good. If you can let them get more line, that'll be good too. But sixty is nice. Sixty gives you a little bit of a little bit of play to work with.
Well, you already got stuck, so you got your stuck time in. Like I said, you're still a, you're still in the middle of the lake. You're bopping back and forth, probably gaining 50 yards or 50 feet here and there. So you're not you're not you're not gaining a lot of feet. But the beautiful thing about it is he's not pinning you up against anywhere. It's the best ride, bro. It's the best fucking ride. For sure, in my opinion. The, zoo, the blue one? The lure ride? Oh, yeah. No, that's... Yes, yeah, this is. No, I take... I take that back. The Loki rod. The Loki rod is the best lure ride for... For, in my opinion, and the only reason why I say that is because it's not too heavy, right? So it doesn't, when you, right, <coughs> right, right. And if you hook up but like a 20, 24 pound reel and then 20 pound test, that freaking rod is, it, the bend on it is amazing. You know what? I am so excited for you, bro. You you only got about 15 more minutes, man, and you won't get this. Oh, but you know what? You, how many objectives have you got with the with the fish? Oh. Well, I no 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 no. There's there's three. The first one, you, yeah. So hopefully you're not on the first one. Hopefully this will count for all three. You know, you, you might. What, while you were being drunk, while you were being drunk right now, he gave you something? Did you have to press X during the fight? Oh, you're lucky you didn't lose the fish. Did it was it number one? Did you were you able to see it? Was it number one or number two? Okay. Oh, I'm checking. Hold on. One second. Where do you live, bro? What city? What state? Where are you from? What state you live in? What state are you from? You from where? Oh, hell yeah. So you've been in Lake Michigan? I just got back. I just got back from, from, uh, from, uh, Chicago, and I went to Gary, Indiana, and saw Michael Jackson's birthplace. Hey, Red, what up? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I used to go, if you if you do sand drags, then you must know about Glamis. I'm sure you've heard about Glamis because that's the biggest sand drags. Yeah, those are the biggest sand dunes on the West Coast over here in California. <clears throat> I'm coming over here to try to deter you because you need to turn that fish around, bro. You got to turn them around. This is This is the sticky part. Thank you. 
yeah, you're going in the right direction, too. You're going in the right direction. Now you just got to stay in that direction, whatever you do, and stay off that right side. Stay off that right side. Keep them, keep them on the left. If he drags you back to the dock, you'll probably have it. Well, we'll see. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Andrew Percy, what's going on with you, bro? He's going he's to drag you to the right again. <coughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great, bro. <coughs> You're doing real good, bro. Real good. Well, we're we're gonna Andrew Andrew Percy, what up? We're gonna be positive. Uh, Red Horizons, you can send me the link for sure. I'd love to check it out. I see which way he's dragging you. You're real, you're real close, bro. You're real close. There you go. Try to bend your rod and tap that. Just tap, tap, you know, maybe light taps. He's backing you up. That's good. He's backing you up. That's a good thing. You done backed up three feet already. He's not. Yeah, you're backing up. You're okay. He's he's backing you up. But but right now, when you back up, you're you're okay. Oh, I saw him jump out the water. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I can't get too close. Can't get too close because I don't want you to disappear. He's not moving you though. Yeah, can you turn your can you turn your rod to the left anymore? Or are you stuck to the left as far as you There you go, you're moving now. There you go, there you go. He's moving in the right direction too, bro. You know what sucks is he jumped out the water and I missed him. <coughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you. Right before I got the objective, oh, you're in a beautiful position now. Right before I got the objective, I lost the fish and I was going to give up. And Vanilla said, you want to try one more time? Oh, you're in a beautiful position. He's taking you back to, in the right direction, bro. And you're, and you're moving, too. You're moving, too, now. You're, 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 you've already gone 10 feet. No, that's the Christmas kayak that you pay for. That's the Santa kayak. You got to pay money for that. Yeah, you got to pay money for that. 
This is the only card that you get with the objective. Well, there's an objective for flips. Uh. So when you get a bigger fish on, you just move the tip of your rod left and right. And then when you start rocking, it'll flip you. Yeah, for an objective. It might be a hat or a Santa coat or something. I'm not sure. See him flipping? If if it's all possible, try to get that fish to, to, to go to the left a little. <clears throat> good, good. I'm going to go to the left over here and, and give you a little bit of bearing on how far you got. You got about 15 or 20 feet on the right side. <clears throat> so you want to stay off this right side. Oh, he's he's moving now. Objectives. Oh, you're in a beautiful spot, man. How many feet does he have out? Now I'm going to tell you. Just remember, don't lose him, though. You're okay. You're in the middle of the lake. You're in the middle of the lake. If he drags you back down to the dam, you got that. that that's a lot more feet right there. So you you got. Even if you drag you to the dam right now, you you you'd get the objective. Dam's got to be three hundred feet away. <laughs> Got to veer him to the left, though. Got to get him off that, off that. You'll get him. You'll get him. He'll turn. Good. 50. There you go. And he's pulling in the right direction. Now, now my man, my man went to the dock, and then he went, and then they, he brought him all the way across to the fire, and he got the objective. Um, I think with all the little running around you've been doing, if you get to that fire up there, you probably got it. Yeah, if you make it to if you make it to the ice, one hundred percent, it's a lock. As long as as long as they give it to you for. And they don't just give you the number two one, and then you got to do number three. Look, it, hey, like I said, you're spending an hour. I spent three days. No, no, you don't have to worry about that. All you got to do is go into a random room. Just go in that. Just go into any random room, and st if the random room don't work, fish your fish, catch your fish, and then go into another random room. You know what I mean? Fish for 15, 20 minutes, then go into another one. But whatever you do, don't lose that fish. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna check it out, Red. My man right here, Naughton, is with me right here and he's trying to get this objective right here, guys. I'm sure you guys hear him on the on the chat. He's trying to get the same kayak I got so he don't have to worry about buying the kayaks. And he's almost got the objective if he, if he's got the right fish on, I think he's got it. But the thing about it is is he didn't do objective number two yet, I don't think. So hopefully they give him number two and three at the same time. <clears throat> 
Let me check. Hold on. <coughs> it's called fishy racing. Okay, well, if you look back on the chat and see if I I guess if I got I will definitely do that right now. Now I don't know if I was in the chat when you when you um Got it. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, the the only one that says uh, one more, please. Sorry, one more, please. Sorry, uh, man, you're in the wrong spot. You know. Yeah, it's not showing your name uh, at all after that. It's not showing your name. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm looking. Completed flipper sleigh. You completed a flipper sleigh. Yeah, that, that's what I got while I was out. Okay. I got it last night, Red. I got that bad boy last night. Put my time in, man. Fought that fish for like 45, 50 minutes, which is what Naughton's doing right now. How close is he? You want to gamble? You want to gamble and pull him in? Or no? Okay. Yeah, Vanilla's got a couple, I think. I don't know if he shot them all off or not when he was playing with me, because I think he said, I only, got, I only got two more, and I think he shot one off, and I got bit, and I told him, don't light off the other one. So I think he's got one. Yeah, no, no, what do you mean when I, what do you mean, like, uh, no, I got achievement one, and then I got achievement two, and then I hooked up with the fish, I think a fish ran me, ran me one time, and then they gave me so many feet out of so many feet, and then it sat there, it was like, they gave me 300, 330 feet out of 500, I never understood what that was, and then I got onto a fish, um, that was the right kind, and it dragged me um, a real long way yesterday, dragged me a real long way, and I lost him. And then I looked at the mileage, and it said 480 out of 500. So that long carry that they took me on was like I was almost there. So I think it's like letting you know how close you're getting. Um, once, you get to level th once you get to level three or level two, if you look at the objective, it lets you know how close you're getting. But... You know, I, I'm really not sure how that works, bro. I really, could, I really couldn't answer. Yeah, I well, I think you got a lot of feet on them. You know what I'm saying? You've been fighting for a long time, but it's up to you. I'm not, I'm not going. If you pull him in a little bit, I might be able to check and see what he is. You know, if he, if he's the right kind, and we could, uh, you can fight him for a little bit longer. But if he's not the right kind, you just pull him in. Okay, you just disappeared. Fuck. There you go. Let me try to get in front of you. Maybe I can, because... Let me see, hold on.
Right now you're just kind of sitting there. You're moving now. You're moving now. You're moving now. You're moving now. Now you're to move the foot. Now you're moving. Now you're to move two foot. <coughs> you're moving now. <laughs> That's good. How many feet does he have? 20? <coughs> You're moving. There's another, there's another foot. Now there's another, another two foot. Now you got, you're in like a little cove in that ice right there. Like a little... Oh, I'm right next to you, bro. I'm, I'm your coach. I'm right next to you. You know all the Olympic guys? Yeah, I see you. I'm right next to you. I see you moving. I'm like literally like six feet from you, ten feet from you. No, you're doing a good job, bro. Yeah. No, but You're stuck. How many feet is he? Good luck. Good luck, bro. It's up to you, man. That's 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 your time that you spend on that fish. You know, I, I don't want to steer you wrong, but I don't want you to lose him. You know, me, you know, I mean, I would, I, I, I don't know, you know. I mean, there's always, the, the Christmas event is not over with. You know, I would probably pull him in because you, you still got, you might still have to get the second objective, you know. Well, that's a good thing, man. Let him move you off that ice stand. Put some pressure on him. Maybe he'll move. Just don't lose him. How many feet is he? Yeah, be careful. Yeah, don't lose him. Now you're moving, but don't lose him. The closer you get, the chances of him spitting the hook. So make sure he doesn't get on the other side of your kayak. Keep that fish on one side. Move your pole all the way to the left or all the way to the right. That way he doesn't, because if your line gets on the other side and you start flipping like that, you're going to lose him. You got to be careful. I don't know if I take the chance right now. I'd probably just crank his ass in. Quit fucking around because you might lose him with that bobbing and weaving like that. Well, that's a good. Well, that's a good thing, then. That's a good thing, and that means that hopefully you don't lose him. 
with 90 yet on their 12. All right, we'll get him, baby. Good luck. I'm, I'm, oh, he's, he's the right kind. He's the right kind. Please say, please say you got it. You can't do it. Don't tell me you got it, bro. Did you get the kayak? No, you didn't. Did they deliver it? Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about, dog. That's what I'm talking about, man. Congratulations, dude. Hey, screenshot it. Oh, you didn't screenshot it. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, now let's go back to the dock. Let's go back to the dock. Who loves you? Mike loves you. Told you to come over here, man, and let somebody shoot off some fireworks, man. You'll get them. See? And you got lucky. You, you got... That's, hey, congratulations, man. All that time paid off, bro. No, it's right. It's right here at the dock, bro. Once you just park, park this, park this, uh, see, now you ain't got to, you ain't got to worry about getting hooked up and, you know, doing that objective no more. That's a hard objective, man. <coughs> Come over here and jump out that kayak and then you should be over 10. Yeah, it took me three days, bro. I was doing it for three days. <clears throat> you you could have put the nose. You could have put the nose of the kayak over here. Or put the nose of the kayak against the rocks right there and get out. You might as well pull it all the way in, so so it doesn't block the new one that you're gonna get. Go towards, there you go. Now, come over here and see if you see your, come over here and see if you see your red kayak now once you get out. Or your green one. Ooh, that shit is pretty, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Congratulations, man. For everybody watching the stream, you guys want to know how to get that kayak? That's how you get it. You got to get hooked up with a Christmas fish during fireworks. And you got to have that bad boy drag you around. And you got to spend 40 or 50 minutes having that guy drag you around. It's boring. But if you get a kayak, you ain't got to ever worry about buying one. So Naughton just got lucky. He got a kayak on the first try. He got the right kind on the first try. Now he don't ever got to go and pay for any kayaks again. He ain't got to go pay $30 for no kayak pack. He ain't got to go do none of that. Congratulations to Naughton. Oh, now you got to go, huh? You done got your, you done got your kayak. You got to go, huh? It's okay. I'll go to Star Wars. Don't trip. Don't trip, Naughton. I'm glad you got it, man. Real talk. I'm glad you got it, man. No, don't worry about it. Don't apologize. What are you apologizing for? Anyway, look, I'm going to Star Wars, guys. You guys follow me? Come and check me out. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Let's go. Stream will be up in two minutes. Red Horizons. Come and check it out right now. Let's go. All right, Naughton. Congratulations on your fish, man. On your on your boat. 